Howdy folks! Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways I found to transfer paint from the pot to an eyedropper bottle without uh, messing with funnels or anything precariously balanced or anything. I've kind of came across this from watching a lot of cooking videos over the holidays and baking, so uh, here's my little technique that I have done a few times so far and really like. Uh, you're going to need your paint pot, your paint dropper bottle. Um, this one is a reclaimed one, but you can also buy them um, through various sources online. And some parchment paper or wax paper cut into a triangle. I just cut mine into squares and fold them in half diagonally. I use this stuff for wet palettes anyway, so I have it on hand. Um, optionally, you can also have a little cup or jar and something to reclaim um, the last bits of paint to scrape out of the pot and try to transfer that into the bottle as well, like a paintbrush or palette knife. Now, you're gonna start by folding the parchment into a cone. The middle part of the longest side is actually the tip of the cone. So you're gonna roll the cone um, in such a way that the two other sides match up and, and form this nice cone. You're gonna then tear a notch into the top through kind of all three layers and fold tiny folds at the notches to kind of hold everything together. If you really are, are nervous about this, you can also tape it, but I found that, that that's all you need to actually hold this thing together for the few minutes you're gonna use it in this form. Next, you're going to pour your paint into the cone. I put the cone into a cup and rest that empty pot, once it's mostly empty of paint, in the cup for a couple of minutes. Uh, the cup holds any paint that might escape. Um, once you're satisfied that gravity can no longer pull any more paint out of the jar faster than air can dry it, just uh, fold the top of the cone, snip the tip of the cone, and squeeze that into the bottle like a tube of toothpaste. Now, this is where I tend to get my hands really messy because I tend to squeeze as much paint out of the cone as I can. Like, really, it's mostly because I'm a slob and I am also cheap, so you can ease the paint in there pretty gently and keep everything relatively clean. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I'll be doing more videos over the holidays to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas, uh, and you'll be sure to get updates if you follow me on social media. Um, and see when those things go up. Have a happy holidays.